Zucchini and oats. Zucchini and oats. I have an idea. Zucchini oat loaf. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's so good. All right, you guys. So this uh, oat loaf recipe is a lot of fun, and it's not too terribly hard to make. You're going to shred one large zucchini. You need about one and a half cups of shredded zucchini, finally. And I actually end up drying out the zucchini a little bit on these paper towels. Um, just, I let them sit on there while I make this flour mixture, which is going to be, you know, your oat flour, baking soda, baking powder, sea salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, things like that. Uh, once that's mixed and incorporated, then you can go on to your wet mixture, uh, which will be comprised mainly of eggs and coconut oil, um, vanilla extract, your sugars will go in here, both brown and granulated, um, and Greek yogurt. You could also use um, applesauce. I think applesauce has been used as well, and, and that works nicely. I used Greek yogurt in this case. Uh, vanilla Greek yogurt actually worked really nicely. Mix that all together and then put your zucchini in with your wet, wet mixture and then combine those things. And then you're going to slowly combine the wet mixture with your dry mixture. Now, full disclosure, um, I was never really into zucchini bread, sweet ones. I've always been much more of a savory person. And then I realized that I was basing that on an impression I had when I was 10. So I think it's time to, you know, give it another shot. And uh, once you get the batter mixed, um, you're going to fold in your add-ins. It can be chocolate chips. You could do nuts, like walnuts or hazelnuts would be fun as well. Um, I had chocolate chips on hand, so that's what I used. Um, once you're ready to go, get your loaf pan and go ahead and grease it up. I used just a half stick of butter to grease mine and uh, transfer your batter into your loaf pan. These spatulas that Taste of Home sent me are brilliant. I love them, you guys. They're like little squeegees. They get everything out of the bowl. I use them all the time. Uh, and I go ahead and like lightly shape your um, dough, you know, your batter, kind of get it uh, to fit in your pan real nicely. And then um, I garnish with the remaining chocolate chips that I have, or nuts if you have, if you decide to use a nuts, a nut mixture. Um, and once that's all said and done, you're going to put this in the oven at 350 for 50 to 60 minutes or until a toothpick comes out cleanly on the other side. Enjoy, you guys. It's so good. Okay, you guys. As you know, we made a zucchini oat loaf, gluten-free zucchini bread. And now... It's time to sample. Oh my God. The chocolate chips are a nice touch. Holy cow. I can't believe how good that is. And I can't believe it's gluten-free. I'm blowing my mind. And another special shout out to the good people at Taste of Home. Sending me this amazing apron and these spatulas, all of which I used in the making of the zucchini bread. They're brilliant. Look at it. Gaze upon the gluten-free Odie deliciousness. Yes, it's so good. Make this. You won't regret it.